so Mick, Sunday was Caesar's little finger did an excellent performance of playing the dummy. He was like mm-hmm. in this weird raspy voice that he does there. He always sounds so distant. He was like, uh, "Excuse me, uh, Sansa, I must have misunderstood." And she was like, "What part did you misunderstand, bitch? The part where you're a fucking dick, or the uh-huh. part where I grew fucking balls?" Yes. Those balls are growing off of her chin, actually. Yeah, she does kind of have two chins. Is That's that what so you're sad. saying? No, I wasn't even <laughs> saying that. You're so rude. Now you're body shaming her. No, really? she's so gorgeous. She is gorgeous. I was um, I loved watching that actor. Do you know his name by any chance? Uh, off the top of your head? No. Sir Samuel Cleggensworth. <laughs> <laughs> no, he has I, a very Irish name, but I can't remember. Okay, so Cleggensworth is close, probably. Um, I loved watching Sir Samuel Cleggensworth like go through those layers of shock and then begging for his Crying. life and like rash yeah he did everything i yeah. mean he did ev- i thought that was amazing he had the five had stages really of grief in 30 seconds he did <laughs> he was grieving for himself girl <laughs> he was. and for his scruples and his shenanigans and i listened to like after the episode the directors or whatever talk and mm. they said that uh, uh lord baelish had considered every possible outcome except for his demise and he mm. just couldn't understand because he was like but wait i always come out on top mm-hmm. and aria was like you never play with me you burnt girl <laughs> she's faceless yeah. oh, uh, watch. okay so there were a bunch of good like really good reunions in this in this episode oh and this whole season the, you're right this has been a season of reunions one of my favorite reunions was when Bran came back to Winterfell and Sansa was like, something's different about you. And he was like, I am the three-eyed raven. And she was like, okay, so anyway. Yeah. <laughs> and she was like, everybody meet my weird brother Bran. <laughs> he's hella weird. He's quiet, but he's smart. <laughs> <laughs> he knows something. Oh, and when Littlefinger was getting his, my favorite thing is uh, he was like, nobody was here to see what had happened. And Bran like said verbatim, this is exactly what happened. And Littlefinger was like, the fuck is this? <laughs> Who you the fuck is this? she? <laughs> Rolling in uh, here from the waist, yeah. messing up his machinations. I'm yeah. sorry your man died, girl. I really am. Well, to I be, grieve for you. To be honest, it is tragic, and I love Littlefinger, and he will be missed. I'm interested, number one, to see how Vary spills when he mm, finds out. Because that's his other half. He's either, yeah. like, deeply disturbed and upset, or he'll just smile and be like, ha-ha. <laughs> like, he it's only it one of those, yeah. Because yeah. he's a mermaid, right? He is a mermaid. He, he's full of it. He swam over, and he watched it happen. Then he went back to his sea <gasps> queen. Speaking of mer people, though. You okay. know, my man, Mr. Theon Greyjoy, he had a good episode this that, last episode. Oh, well, that's your opinion. No, he's getting his redemption he arc. He trying? Right? He did it! Well, he, he didn't do it. beat that man Two to a pulp episodes before when he abandoned the only person in the world who Girl, loved him. look here. That man got his dick and his balls cut off. Okay. He is a broken human being. You cannot be mad at him for that shit still. I can be ago. mad at him for whatever, but in spite of my... Theon hate and my distaste completely for your sexual attraction. Uh, more to the point, his uncle, Euron Greyjoy, who looks like werewolf Jesse Jackson, mm. is like such a fucking dick. I love hate him. He is the new villain of this season. Mm-hmm. And he's kind of not even the greatest villain. They're, they're really lacking in number one pivotal deaths this mm. season and also great villainry. Mm. Because they're trying to make, uh, you know what I mean? Like in in, yeah. in seasons mm-hmm. past, it's so easy to hate Cersei so much. Like that time when she destroyed the Sept of Baylor and killed Marjorie Tyrell, R.I.P. Our baby. But she's not and even. Loras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's not even that horrible this season. So they brought mm. on Euron Greyjoy to be this kind of horrible villain we can hate, right? He he killed. He basically sentenced the Sand Snakes to death, destroyed their whole lineage, mm-hmm. and then he captured Asha or Yara. What do we call her in the show? Yara? Asha? Yara. Yara. Yeah. She's so he, Asha in the book. So he captured Yara, and then he's like, ha ha, Theon, I'm going to kill her. Uh, and then he was like, just stands around, makes funny jokes about Jamie, which I do enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> I do enjoy that. But besides that, he's just like one to get his dick wet and he wants to wear a crown and it's so annoying. To me, Euron is very much like, I feel like I've known Euron's under other names. I feel like Euron is um, very much like the pillar of like douchebag, um, economically disadvantaged masculinity. 
Yeah. Like, he reminds me of people I grew up with. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In the book, he's supposed to be kind of magical. Like, he has that horn that, like, summons... It's supposed oh, to, like, shit. summon dragons. That. Oh. Oh, did you read the last book? It, you know what? I don't think I did. That's your favorite, right? The one yes. A Dance with Dragons Yeah, that's the, the one I gave up on. Well, that one's real good, uh, and you're stupid. And I know. I feel you. Uh-huh. in that book... <laughs> He kind of has like some magical things. Like there's this horn, and I can't remember what it's called, but it's like you, not. It's like a one of those like war horns uh-huh. that like somebody might yell with. Burr-boo. Exactly, sounds, yeah. and it supposedly like awakens like dragons from the depths or something. And so I always thought that there would be like a dragon in the wall, and like it would awaken uh, I remember that. We talked about that on our Game of Thrones. Episode. Yeah. So, but in the show, he's comic relief and also just a dick. Did you? When, when he, quote-unquote, left the meeting, yeah. did you see through that, or did you think he was actually- No, I really thought he yeah. was doing that, and I was like, why did we invest all this time in him? Girl, they played me like a fiddle that whole episode. Well, that they, whole they episode. tried to it a lot of turns, and they succeeded at some, and then sometimes it was Sansa and Arya being clear as fucking crystal. Oh, well, yeah, that was, yeah. That was good. But that was satisfying, though. That was like a dramatic irony to me, because I was like, I don't believe this. There's no way this can be true. And when it turned out not to be true, I was like, obviously. So, before the finale, I, I think, honestly, so much has happened this season, but... It, it hasn't felt like a ton, but may, mostly just, like, reunions. Mm-hmm. Re, lots of reunions, people coming together for the first time ever, re, like, being with your old friends, new friends, fucking just lots of stuff. And John is, like, now the king of the north. So that was a big thing anymore. that happened. That was. Season. And John became king. Danny arrived in Westeros. So those are yes. probably the two biggest. Well, and then the third biggest thing before the finale is that Danny's dragon got fucking oh, yeah. murdered. Yeah, and now that motherfucker is back. And you, you can't keep a good dragon down. Word, uh, and that's fucking yeah. That was a great last scene of the like pen ultimate episode where the dragon got dragged out. And might I bring up your on Greyjoy asked the question, "Can they swim?" The answer was no. Then what the fuck? Little zombie walkers swam down to that dragon in the bottom of who knows how deep that mm-hmm. water is. Attached these mm-hmm. chains that they just happen to have, right? Mm-hmm. They just happen to have these chains. Maybe like the giants were wearing them as like bling. Yeah. <laughs> that was giant it's bling. It's the right only there. conceivable That's street cred. Giant yeah. street cred. <laughs> so they swam down yeah, and somebody, attached that dragon. Somebody went to the top of that frozen lake Girl. and wrapped those things around that dragon carcass. Girl. Who did that? It wasn't that. It wasn't that zombie bear. No. The zombie bear didn't do it. Well, because he dead mostly. Girl, the zombie bear. I'm glad he's dead because he, he scared the scar- shit out of me. Yeah. What was that uh, movie, Re- Revenant? Revenant? Yeah. Where the- he gets attacked by that yeah, bear? Yeah, it wasn't It was not a zombie bear. It was just regular. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, same sentiment. It's a similar scene, Dude, though. Dude, that movie was fucked up. I didn't you see know it. what? You know what mistake he made is... Um, when he went into bear country and stepped in between a mom and her cubs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then she was like, I will fuck you up yep. for 45 straight minutes. It's like when you walk between me and the uh, side table in which I keep all my sex toys and I just lose my shit for some reason. Yeah, yeah, You yeah. never know why, but yeah. that's why. Oh, I get it. Between me and my baby. You know what else it's like? It's like this old terrible ass Harry Potter ass wig that they got Cersei wearing. <laughs> it is Ugly. It is ugly. She calls it the. I listened to an interview with her. She calls it the turnip wig. The turnip. She makes her head look like a turnip. She which makes, agreed. Would she not? Why would she not grow her hair out? Can we why not get like not, a pixie? Why would she not wear a wig? I know they have wigs in Westeros. Oh. All those fine ladies. Oh, for sure. Because her hair is looking bedraggled. Yeah. And it's when terrible. she and all her little friends, when they came to the dragon, what's that area where they dragon bit the the dragon pit? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I thought you said dragon bed. I was like, it is wrong. That's not what she said. Um, Yeah, when she comes to the dragon pit, I was like, I'm not impressed by you. You look like a sad, full of holes, fallen to pieces. Your hair looks rough and stained by pollution. I thought her outfit was fierce. Yeah, but she wears that damn dress every day, don't she? Well, she wears a variation. I want her to be like The back was really epic. Yeah, you're right. Actually, but yes, I know what you mean. Like if she came out in like glitter and gold and like yeah, giant show, crown. Her like, crown is not pretty. No, it, it doesn't have to be like sparkly. Like be black and fierce and like mm-hmm. leather and like. Mm-hmm. I just feel like she looks 
sick or something. She looks like she's about to die, which, by the way, is obviously going to happen next season. Yeah, when Jamie fucking kills her. You think Jamie's going to kill her? Oh, yeah, especially now that he's gone. He was like, bye, Felicia. You know what? I was. I have an interesting fan theory that you may or may not have heard for next season. I was talking to a friend last night. So. You don't have friends. I was talking to a post last night. <laughs> so <laughs> this post told me that... People are talking online about the possibility that uh, that old Meister, who's the gross one, uh huh, maybe, oops, maybe he actually put a baby inside of her. So it's not Jamie's baby. Mm. It's like some weird. Maybe it's like a zombie baby because you know he is the one who made the mountain, the zombie creation that he is, mm. and maybe that baby is somehow going to kill her. Like eat its way out of her, Ooh, or maybe she'll die in childbirth. But I don't. I don't think childbirth. I think something might happen with the baby, and it might kill her. To be honest, I can't tell and have not decided if I think she's actually pregnant or if it's just lie she's telling. I think I it's either. I think it's either fake or the baby gonna kill her somehow. Well, because we only seen them fuck like one time mm-hmm. this season, mm-hmm. so. Did they just like hit and quit it? Like I so. one I mean, and done? They've got a record of success. They've been popping out kids left, right, well, up, and down. So. Okay, and did you read my new favorite Targaryen theory that yeah. says that? Okay, so this theory is that uh, some of the Lannister children are Targaryens, but yeah. that. Tyrion is not the one. It's actually the twins that are Targaryens because... Who's the twins? Uh, Cersei and Jaime. Oh, those twins. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah. that they're Targaryens, and mm. number one, that's why they're so prone to incest, because the Targaryens have a long history of incest. Number two, they have golden hair. And number three, why... What's their dad's name? What's his name? He has a really nice name. It starts with a T. Type... Tywin. Tywin. Why Tywin hated Tyrion so much is not because he, because there's a theory that he hates him because he's a Targaryen. Mm -hmm. So not because he hates him because he's Targaryen. He hates him because he's actually his only spawn. And so when he could actually father a child, that's what he got. And his wife dies in childbirth. Okay, so that's the new theory. And also, secondarily to that, that Jamie is the prince that was promised from Azora High. Because we're all looking at Danny and John, so we need something. We need a surprise, right? It'd be hard for them to surprise us if it was one of them. We'd be like, yeah, called it. So if it's Jamie Lannister who comes in at the end to save the day... That's shocking. Mm-hmm. That's a turn. I just got chills all over my body. Girl, so that's what I'm subscribing to. So I'm waiting you're, for, you're you that. know what, though, but after the finale, I did see a lot of, um, lots of Jon Snow's butt memes. Duh! But obviously, because it was You think gorgeous. it was really his butt, though? Yeah. You don't? I, I've, I, what I found by creeping online like a fucking creeper is that nine times out of ten when they do those scenes, it's a, it's a butt double. It but, might not be. I'm he, not. I'm not trying to burst a bubble. Oh, but he. Well, girl, I'm gonna find out. We're gonna come back with the answer that to that. Up. But I, one of my favorite memes I saw was just like a close up frame of Jon Snow's butt, and it just mm. said hashtag the prince that was promised. Yes, <laughs> just as bad. Just as bad. Well, okay. uh, let me ask you. As far as I mean, that scene goes. What did you think of the incest bomb? I mean, they're like cousins, right? They're like first cousins. She, she's his aunt. She's his aunt. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Girl. so as far as Targaryens go, aunt and nephew was really not that scandalous of a relationship. Yes, that's true. In so that family. her father, Danny's father was married to his sister. Okay. So the Mad King Ares was married to his sister, whose name I cannot remember, who was long, whatever, gone. Um, and that, and that he is also a product of incest, which is why he went crazy. And the Targaryens in general are prone to, um shall we say, personality disorders that lead them to, shall we say, mass genocide. Oh, shall we? <laughs> shall we say shall that? We? Um, and so Danny is actually a pretty stable version of a Targaryen as far mm-hmm. as we know from history. So John's already the product of incest. Mm. So frankly, if they're having a baby, it's deeply the product of incest. But... I don't know. It doesn't bother me for some reason. And I feel like it should. And I hear you when it bothers you. But to me, I'm just, just happy. I mean, that's just the world of Game of Thrones, first of all. And Incest frankly, the world right of royalty in general. Yeah, that's true, too. Well, here's... here's I do have a prediction for this next... This final season. First of all, Danny's definitely going to get pregnant. 
Yeah, they've talked know about John it Snow's gonna, way too much. Exactly. And she keeps being like, the prophecy, the lady told me. Well, that old prophecy, that old bitch's name was, she was uh, a Magi or a Magi. And her name was Miri Mazdeer. Yeah. You remember her? Okay. First of all, and someone points it out in this episode, Tyrion maybe, but he's like, girl, why do you believe her anyway? She was your enemy. Okay. Yeah. That's true. John even said, is she the best source of information? Yeah, who it was. It was John. And yeah. she was just like, so anyway. Yeah, well, that, that bitch, she hated Danny because she was one of the conquered peoples. Yeah. And she killed her baby. And her husband. And Cal Drogo. Well, Danny but, killed him, but, but she, she helped. essentially. Yes, yeah, this lady helped. And then also, that first prophecy that she made, it's actually mostly been fulfilled already via metaphor. Uh-huh. Now, I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty because it is nitty gritty, but like, for example, it's like in Macbeth when they're like, the woods of Dunsinir or whatever shall come to the castle. And then they, and then they, people just wear some fucking trees and move Exactly. Them. It's like that. So it's just like a metaphorical prophecy. Mm-hmm. I also read that that's possibly true because mm-hmm. one of the things was like when the sun rises in the west and sets in the east that's one of them. and like some other shit, but like. For sure, there's some definite metaphorical ways that those can be fulfilled. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, that one was like, I forget which house now, but the house, Bulibu, has like a sun on their banner, and they were in the west, and then they went to the east, and they all died, or something like that. Did right? The Dornish people? Yeah, okay, yeah. you know, yeah. It's something like that. So, actually, she's laboring under this misconception that she can never go into labor. Yes. See my pun? Labor, yes. Labor, you like yeah. that? That was a pregnancy pun. I make a lot of those. Um, but actually, she's very capable of having another baby. I think so, too. And um, she's been having unsafe sex for quite some time with other people. So I think that is why she has reinstated that she thinks that she can't because she has not become pregnant. Mm-hmm. But I think that that's not a good method to base it on. And also... Okay, can we just talk about... Oh, she's definitely getting pregnant. But can we talk about as soon as Tyrion finds out that Cersei's pregnant, when he acknowledges, oh my god, you're pregnant, mm-hmm. and then it cuts away, and then Cersei comes back out into the dragon pit, and re- even though she's a liar, but she reaffirms her commitment to helping, mm-hmm. what did Tyrion promise her mm-hmm. that made her come back out and change her mind mm-hmm. after he found out she was pregnant? So I think... Did he promise, okay, well, Danny cannot bear a child, so we will make your child the heir to the Iron Throne? Oh, he can't promise. If he did, girl, there were a lot of people girl? with his last little look when he was watching John. Yeah, because what room. was he so upset about, yeah. except maybe Danny might get pregnant, well, right? Well, maybe he was just upset, though, because, like, you know, you don't shit where you eat. You shouldn't be fucking your co-workers, and you That's sure know. It's you're, messy. You're trying to pull together all a Westeros girl, and now you're getting dicks up in there? Well, but what what do you think could he have promised her besides a line scary. of succession? I don't want him to, like, betray her in well, any way. Well, I don't necessarily see it as a betrayal. Maybe he thought it was a way... Like, maybe he thought the child could be taken away. You know how they mm. raise children mm-hmm. and other... Like Theo. Yeah, mm. like raise them somewhere else. And so maybe he thought we could take this child and raise it, like, to have, like, Danny's sensibility. I don't know. That's speculation. But mm. he definitely promised her something to change her mind. He walked out of there, number one, alive, mm. and number two, with an alliance. Mm-hmm. And you don't get that for free with Cersei Lannister. So we're going to find out more about that next season. Girl, that's one of the times when Cersei done played me like a fool. When she was like, I will absolutely help. I literally, it was like the I know. sun, the clouds had parted. I all, who doesn't love her? She's such a great actress. Lena Lena Headley? He- Hetty. Hetty. She's such a great actress. That character is so fucking fierce and so strong. Amazing. You know, we love a strong bitchy woman here on this podcast, right? Mm. Like, we're into that. That's why we're friends. Oh, girl. Hi. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. I, I actually do mean that as a compliment. But I immediately, when she switched over, I was like, finally, I can love her. Like, I can't wait. And then I felt like such a goddamn fool. She done jerked me around. Also, it... It, like, deeply wounded me when Jamie was planning a thing and she came in and and then she was just like, I always knew you were the stupidest Lannister. And <gasps> how hurt he was by yeah. that. And how he was excited to help and make a difference because the world is falling apart. And their relationship is, like, genuinely done. Like, he was so mm. done with her that I was, like, proud of him. Mm-hmm. Jamie has had quite the character arc over oh, the yeah. series. He's, is it too much to say... He may have changed. I think he and Danny may have changed the most because John So was fucking always the same. Yeah, he's, he's always same, been John same, same. So, right? Yeah. I guess Sansa's changed a lot. Yeah. Arya has more skills, but actually, she's, she's just become always who been she a is. Yeah, yeah, she's always been a badass. 
Um, but Jamie has, he's a super dynamic character. I agree. Can we talk about when they showed the, the white, the dead person, the walker mm, to mm. the other people? Um, my favorite scene, my favorite moment was when they cut the hand off and Quiburn, the maester walks up and he picks up the arm and he's just like, what's this precious? Yeah, <laughs> and he just has like the cogs turning cause he's such a fucked up person. He's like, a creepy, He can't creepy wait. Creeper. To take that and set off the Walking Dead in King's yes. Landing. Like, they just want to turn everyone into zombies. That motherfucker. I can't wait for him to die. That's a death I'm really looking forward to as well. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, more you. So, uh, let's see. The last season of Game of Thrones is six episodes long. They're all at least over an hour long. We think, of course. They're filming it in October, so it hasn't even been filmed yet. I heard it's probably not coming out till 2019. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to, okay, I'm going to cross my fingers and hold my breath and hope for next summer, but I think it's very like, they're, what they're essentially, they're making like six feature movies. length. Yeah. yeah, they're making six movies. Yep. That's fucking huge. That's so, so intense. Big. And you know it's going to be big as far as special effects and like battles and shit like that, so... Hopefully, we'll see it summer 2018, but perhaps more likely summer 2019. Mm, yeah, oh. for sure. I just love... I'm sorry, I just have like two more thoughts. No, be yourself. So you know when Bran... Sam came to see Bran, and Bran was so like... Cute. He was like, I am the three-eyed raven. I know everything. Why have you come here? Yeah, yeah. I, like, legit laughed out loud because he, like, didn't know why he came. Well, that's a really, that's something I wonder about is, like, how do they, how are the writers dealing with Bran? Because he's kind of the kryptonite for the whole story yes. because, right, he knows everything. And he can affect change. Exactly. So, yeah. like, he's like a god, kind of. Also, for some reason, he couldn't before see the whole full context of Lyanna Stark having the baby. Maybe he just wasn't looking hard enough, but mm. now he revealed to us the really intense information that Jon is 100% a Targaryen. And with Sam's information, we know that he is the heir to the Iron Throne and also that his name is Aegon, which I think is really symbolic because the original Targaryen who united Westeros the and Conqueror. the Seven Kingdoms was Aegon the Conqueror. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's it's really symbolic. And also, there's so many things, like, who is going to end up sitting in the Iron Throne and who is going to die? Like, we need to just, like, make some predictions because, number one, mm -hmm. here's what I think is going to happen. I think... Danny is going to, like, pave the way. She's going to have Jon Snow's baby, and then she's going to die oh. and, like, give him the throne. Oh. Because I think because he is the rightful heir, mm. and because, I don't know, I just, I think that she's going to somehow defer to him hmm. after everything she's done. Well. Or maybe they'll rule together, or maybe they'll both die. I'll, I'll say this. The easiest way for me to kind of, like, tackle that is people who I think are going to die. Yeah. I think that Cersei's definitely going to die. Dead. I think that Jamie's definitely going to die. Oh, you do? I do. Um, I think that Tyrion is a possibility. I'm not certain he's going to survive. I think one of the three remaining Starks, well, Snow, Jon and Sansa and um, Arya... Oh, and I guess uh, Bran. I think one of those four is going to die. I think Bran has to live because he, he That's has true. to he's keep... That's right, he's a three-eyed raven. Yeah, he has he to could pass it along, together. though. Yeah, he he's probably still learning. You're probably right. I think Arya is probably... She used to be the one I thought would survive, but now it almost seems like she doesn't have a lot left to lose. I think she'll probably yeah. sacrifice herself for I someone so in the too. family, like mm -hmm. maybe Sansa, maybe Jon, mm -hmm. maybe Danny. Davos is going to die. Oh, for sure. Um, I think... Oh, God. Um, I think what what's his name? The bald one, the the you know little fingers friend, Varys. Varys. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Varys is gonna live. I don't. Oh, think I think so too. Yeah. I think he's the Varys spider. will outlive everyone. He's gonna crawl with away. his mermaid tail. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's a, I guess I think both the remaining dragons are gonna live, and I think more dragons are coming too. I think there are more dragons. I think. I think. One dragon's going to die, and they're going to be left with one. Mm. And I think it depends on either if John lives or Danny lives, which dragon lives. Do you think maybe... Are they... Those two dragons that they both have, are they male or female? Is there one male, one female? Oh, I don't know. Because maybe, maybe they're going to make more dragons. Maybe eggs in the future. Yes, maybe, girl. maybe the one dragon dies, but the one that's left is pregnant. 
has the eggs. Ugh. Poop has the eggs. There's so much to consider. And, oh and I think the lack of death in season seven is going to just be, a th- like, it's going to be a thousandfold the deaths in, in the final season. Oh, Everyone's yeah. going to die. Cataclysm is coming. Yeah, we're <laughs> It's gonna really stressful. Life. It's really stressful. Well, we have two years to think about it and get okay. stressed and tense. Well, what I want to know is if you guys can comment, tell me... What's the deal with the Night King? Is he a Targaryen? How come he can ride a dragon? Also, that dragon's fire ice shit is super magical. Burn the wall down. Tormund's still alive, right? I think so. Okay, yeah. great. Because they didn't show him dying. He's too important to die like Agreed. That. And that uh, other guy, flame and sword guy, too, I think he's Hopefully alive. he gets to fuck Brienne. Mm-hmm. And down with the haters who are not shipping for that because love is love. <laughs> Amen. Love always wins yeah. in the end. Please comment and tell us how good our hair looks today. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I said R. I meant mostly me. <clears throat> Great. Well, happy uh, forecasting. Let us know your predictions. And <sighs> Game of Thrones talk circa 2019, I guess. Mm-hmm. By the way, spoilers. <laughs> Hashtag spoilers. <laughs> tell your friends. All right. Bye, baby. Bye. We'll talk to you soon.